my understanding is that uh, if you talk to a lot of people, what they've said about me is that he's a really nice guy. You don't understand that guy's like the nicest guy ever. And a lot of them couldn't really explain some of my behavior because like they're really confused by me being gay. But then they kind of accepted that I'm gay, and um, they didn't. They they never really got the brain hacking thing. And I feel like the cops um, have censored what I see so that I can't see what they're saying. Because my understanding is there's this whole narrative like this guy's trying to hurt cops, this guy's this, and this guy's that. This guy's a drug dealer, or some shit. He's Rainbow Family, something. I don't even know. Like, but like he's uh, he's crazy. He's mentally ill. He wants to hurt people. I don't know what they're saying. Like, I know that I have one view on every video. Maybe three is the max. And I know that the reason the cops are censoring it is because generally the cops are the ones running the drugs. But I also am pretty sure that what happened is like, everything at the beginning was I was trying to get the cops to talk. I was trying to get them to tell the truth. And what I was trying to get them to say is that the cops had done some terrible things to people, but I was also trying to get them to talk about the technology. Wait, no, was I? I feel like I didn't know about the technology back then. And then I, I kept trying to get the cops to talk and to tell the truth. Because I think that people need to know about the brain hacking. Like, you need, to need, you need to know your brain's getting controlled by someone other than you. Like, you need to know, like, you need to need, know that you're being tricked into, like, being for the state of Israel. Like, you need to know that. So, um, I feel like now I'm in a weird situation because, like, Everyone kind of accepted that I need to go to prison. I broke the law. I'm, I'm, I have spent like fourteen thousand dollars on marijuana type stuff, and I've ended up with like I'm, I'm going to end up with about what five thousand dollars worth of marijuana wholesale, and so I'm going to have lost money massively. How much labor have I put in? Probably about six months worth of labor. So like, what am I going to really get out of this? Seeds. Like my whole goal was seeds the whole time. But you guys all think that I want to grow marijuana illegally right in front of the cops because I, 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 I'm I a crazy person, right? No, no, I'm a person that wants to have a bunch of pot, right? Instead of just buying it from people that are that have like setups. Like their, their system is set up, they're established. Like they have a shitload of pot. A lot of people are not making that much money off their weed. So, um... You guys think that I want to grow for mass production for myself because I'm going to have like three pounds, right? After my rigorousis. And you guys think that's a lot. In Colorado, three pounds is a lot. So what's the three pounds? What, what, what was it that really about? I think it's pretty clear what it's about. It's about like these people have turned on me. Like they're like uh, my understanding about Eric is that Eric turned on me because I'm against Israel or something, and everyone was so convinced that Eric was just my friend who's not in on it. Eric's from this little town that doesn't run drugs. Uh, all the cops know they don't even spy on that town because there's no point in it because they can't catch him because it's so small. And um, like <laughs> my understanding is that Eric changed his narrative. Like he he was always for me, and then one day he changed because I was against Israel. No one noticed that. No one noticed it that knows that the chemist is Elizabeth. No one noticed it who noticed this like fucking crazy amount of Jewish people involved with everything. Like everywhere I go, it's the fucking Jewish people doing it. But they got the black people that think they're Jews. They got the black Jews. They're the ones running the drugs. The black Jews. It's very confusing. Don't worry, they're from Solomon's fucking group. So, the feds... They're all Jews, right? No, they're not. They think that I'm anti-Jewish. I'm dangerous because I'm anti-Jewish. Like, it's like, I am so dangerous because, like, I am in a fucking nightmare where the Jewish people are hacking my brain. And, like, I am Jewish. And, like, it turns to the point where you're, like, so uncomfortable with the way that they're Jewish that, like, you don't know how to be fucking Jewish because it's, like, so uncomfortable because it's going to get you put in prison because you're too ju too Jewish. And they won't stop getting the shit in your, in your brain. But you guys know that, right? The cops know that. The cops think I'm dangerous, but my understanding like about the cops is they found COVID-19 in the drugs and their opinion was, um, like, it's not like that, that it's not, it's your fault. You shouldn't do, you shouldn't do drugs. And like, that's why they didn't tell anyone about COVID-19 and the drugs. And like this, this whole case with me, they never even thought that COVID-19 and the drugs had anything to do with me. When I snitched on COVID-19 and like, I'm trying to like snitch to the point that I'm going, okay, I, I, I don't know who is who. I know Paul Rudd is involved. 
Like I know, and I didn't know he was Jewish back when I knew he was involved because the reason I know he's involved is because I was at the grocery store and it was a perfect place to drop and he looked stressed. I'm just saying, like, I don't know, but I want to help you guys figure out who's behind COVID-19 so that we can solve it. And after we solve it, which I don't think anyone's ever thought about that, right? You guys have never tried to figure out how to solve COVID-19, right? Your opinion on that is COVID-19 is not a big deal because I'm Donald Trump, I'm behind COVID-19, or my family is, the Jews, like Jared Kushner is. That's not, no, that, that's not their opinion. Okay, so D Joe Biden, my understanding is that he's told a lot of people that he's Jewish. I'm like very confused by that, but Joe Biden's like really not in on COVID-19, but he is Jewish. And so he's always favored Jewish people. And he's unknowingly like threatened, like he's unknowingly like, fucked up so bad with COVID-19, but really like the Jewish people are doing well. They're saying, look, I did so good. I stopped COVID-19, um, but are they in on it? I feel like everyone's kind of, kind of knows like who did COVID-19 and like they know why it's because the stupid fucking black people are so determined to be in charge of the government and like we need to kill as many of them as fucking possible. And honestly, like, is that really their opinion? Sometimes I'm pretty sure that like it's my opinion and then like that's like the problem is like I didn't do fucking COVID-19 but like I want these I like want like my country not to be the fucking dumbest country ever. Like I can't believe I just said it but like I don't want my fucking country to be like the dumbest people ever that are so fucking into identity politics that are so like the only way to exist is like you got to be Alex Costa Cortez. She's not Jewish. No one will ever believe she's fucking Jewish because her name is Cortez. Like it, I'm just saying like she's not Jewish. Like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, that's the only hope you have in this country is to be Alex Cos cortez And at some point, like, you start to realize that. And then, like, so you're cheering for the biological weapon. But in no way have I ever cheered for the biological weapon. I've hidden from the biological weapon. And that's the real truth is, like, I have tried to help people stop it. I've tried to warn people. I've done everything possible to be a good person in this situation. I've never tried to help the biological weapon. I've done everything possible to stop the biological weapon that I could. And now that I've reached that point where I can finally do something where I'm stitching to that, to that extent, like, I think that, um, like, no one will ever doubt that I've, like, worked really hard to stop this biological weapon. But it doesn't mean that I don't, like... Like, I've never been hateful, like, but I'm so fucking hateful because you guys are so fucking awful and you're in charge of my government. You've overthrown my government. You've overthrown the Constitution. You guys are so fucking evil. You, like, will do nothing. You will stop at nothing to fucking silence people from warning people about the brain hackers because you guys are fucking helping the state of Israel fucking control everyone. You don't get it. And I know everyone's going, yeah, 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 right. The state of Israel is controlling everyone's brains. Yeah, Alex. Sure, that sounds like your delusions. You're very concerned about the Christians. You're very con No, I'm not actually. You know what I'm concerned about? Getting to my fucking boat and floating in the middle of the fucking ocean and sitting there and probably being like 40 fucking years old. Wait, no, no. Probably 40 years from now, a nuclear war is gonna break out. I'll be in the middle of the fucking ocean. I'll have a bunch of seeds and I'll have fucking thrown in Antarctica. Y'all motherfuckers will never find my seeds in Antarctica. I'm gonna get all these marijuana seeds. I'm gonna buy so many fucking seeds. I'm gonna go fucking hide them in Antarctica. I'm gonna go fucking get a bunch of mushrooms. Psilocybin mushrooms. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take those spore prints and I'm gonna fucking figure out how to like hide them somewhere where they'll cultivate themselves. This is like gonna be my jungle, hidden jungle place where like they won't nuke in the middle of the fucking jungle. I will save these organisms. Like because I think that there are some like plants that are I like mushrooms. Like I I I I started like researching growing mushrooms and I was like I fucking love them. I need to go find somewhere to hide these mushrooms in case World War 3 breaks out. Like I mean I mean seriously like that that's kind of my mindset. I, I know what you guys are thinking like wait you're planning on hiding marijuana seeds? in case World War III breaks out, dude, I might die. And like, I will leave clues for you guys to go find my fucking secret marijuana seeds. And the only way those strains will survive is because I have them. Because I have them on my fucking ship and I have them in the middle of the fucking Antarctica. And like, I'm, I'm that serious, like I'm, I'm dead serious. Like I've, I've thought about it, I'm gonna get a snowmobile on my fucking yacht. I'm gonna go to Antarctica. I'm gonna go hide my seeds my marijuana seeds, but I can't do that with the spores. I gotta go find some freaking jungle. So I gotta go find a mycologist to help me. But I'm gonna go storm on my ship too. I'm not even gonna do mushrooms, but like I've thought about it and I'll probably do mushrooms sometimes. I don't know how much I'll do mushrooms. Like, I feel like um, I'm gonna, at some point gonna have to make a decision on how much I wanna do mushrooms. But I don't know, that's the thing. Like when you start worrying about like 
a biological weapon causing World War III, you start thinking, okay, what do I want to do during World War III? I'm not going to go chill in the fucking bunker with these motherfuckers at NORAD. Fuck you guys. Like, seriously. I'm going to go fucking hang out in the middle of the ocean, and I'm going to go, like, hang out on a yacht, and I'm going to fish, and I'll live on the ocean for the rest of my life. Like, I'm down for it. Like, that's the thing. Like, I think World War III could break out, and, and everyone will leave me alone. And, like, I have gotten that. It's like, I feel like I deserve to have every fucking person leave me alone. And um, part of being, me being left alone, I believe, is going to be me storing, like, a massive amount of marijuana seeds in Antarctica. Like, I've, 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 like, I've already planned it that much. Because the moment you snitch on COVID-19 and you say, hey, sorry about the attempted genocide. Like, you understand, like, I was kind of taking it on myself. Like, I was kind of like, it's not the Chinese. And, like, I thought I was a crazy person. No one will care. And, and, like, I don't fucking get how hard I snitched on COVID-19 because I was trying to save lives. Because if no one knew it was a biological weapon, no one would take it seriously. Like, that's the real problem. Like, if, like, if it's just nothing, because like, that's what it seems like, it's nothing. Like, then no one's going to fucking care. Like, they need to know it's a biological weapon. And, like, I would want to know it's a biological weapon, and I try to do under others. And so, um, I, I feel like I, like, sometimes, like, you do something halfway and you can't do it, and that's why you, you can't do it that way. Like, you have to do it all the way, and that's why, like, I've reached the point where I'm pretty sure it's Medina, and, like, I just think it's Utopia, which I know it's Utopia. Of course it's Utopia. Like, Medina is, like, part of the drive. <laughs> like, I, I, I always do that drive. I don't even know how many times I've been to Medina. Like, probably 30. Medina's not on the map. It's not on Google Maps. Or Apple Maps. Alright, so, um... No one really lives there. There's, like, one gas station. Alright. So... I'm out of here.